Do you ever wonder if your quail need a dust bath or not? That's what we're going to talk about in today's video and get it all cleared up for you. Hey guys, welcome back to another Slightly Redneck video. Again, my name is Chris. If you're not familiar with this channel, I help you to produce your own meat, eggs, and vegetables from your backyard, your balcony, your deck, your garage, or heck, even a spare room in your house if that's the way you want to do it. Today we're discussing dust baths for quail and whether they actually need them or not. And the short answer is no, they don't really need them necessarily. They can live just fine without ever having a dust bath. But there are several reasons why you might want to add one to your quail's enclosure. So let's get into that. All right, first of all, your quail really enjoy dust baths. Uh, they, when you put a dust bath in there, you're going to find that pretty quickly, especially if you've never had one in there before, they just swarm to the dust bath. They get in there, they start scratching around, pecking at it. Um, they, they start dusting themselves off. They'll, uh, we'll show you that here in a few minutes. Hopefully, we'll be able to see that. Um, they just really enjoy a whole idea of a dust bath. Secondly, um, by adding a dust bath and keeping it in there all the time for your quail, what I find most of the time is that the quail actually lay their eggs in the dust bath, which does a couple of things. It makes it a lot easier to collect the eggs. They're not just scattered out all over the cage and you have to kind of search for them. Um, second of all, they're, they're much, much cleaner eggs. You hardly ever have any kind of debris on the eggs. You don't have to worry about scraping off droppings or any of that kind of stuff. They just tend to be much, much cleaner when they're laid in a dust bath. Another reason would be a dust bath can be very, very useful if you're having problems with things like mites on your quail. Um, if you get, um, you know, I don't have any of those problems and I haven't had any of those problems, but they can occur. So if your quail get mites, you might add a dust bath with some diatomaceous earth or something like that in it, and they'll get in there and dust themselves off with that, and it'll help them get rid of those bugs and those parasites and those kinds of things. And that's kind of why they do get in there and bathe in the dust. Again, with raised cages especially, it's very rare that you're going to have problems with any of those kinds of bugs, but it can happen from time to time, time uh, excuse me, time to time, and a dust bath is a good way to kind of combat that. Okay, so what can you use for a dust bath? There's lots of different things. I already mentioned you can add some diatomaceous earth. You don't want to do just pure diatomaceous earth, and if you do that, make sure you get food grade diatomaceous earth because they will eat some of that and ingest some of that probably. Um, but you don't want to use diatomaceous earth on a, all the time. What you would want to do is maybe use some of it sprinkled into some sand, uh, some dirt. You could use just regular, make sure it's dry, not wet, uh, but regular, you know, like potting mixes. Um, you could use just dirt from your yard if you wanted to. Now, if you're going to use dirt from your yard, dig it up, sift it out, sift out all the uh, the chunks, the debris, uh, you know, rocks, those kinds of things. And then I'd run it through your oven, bake it in the oven for. I don't know, maybe 20 minutes at 350 or so. Make sure you kill off any kind of bacteria that's in there and sterilize it. Um, and then you can add that to your quail enclosure, but that's free. You don't have to pay for that, um, other than maybe the electricity to run your oven or something like that. But that's, an, that's a, a source that you could use for a dust bath for your quail. Wood ash actually makes a good dust bath for your quail. So if you have a fireplace or you've burned a lot of wood and you've got a lot of ash left over, put that in a little uh, shoe box or a, you know, a tray, a container of any kind, stick it in your quail pen, let your quail get in there and they'll dust themselves off with that. What I primarily use is sand and I just get play sand from the store. There are some concerns with play sand having uh, silica in it and it being toxic. I've never had a problem with my birds and it's a cheap, easy uh, solution for a sandbox or a, or a dust bath for the quail to kind of play in. You can get like a whole 50 pound bag of it for just a couple of dollars at just about any kind of hardware store or big box store. So that's what I use. But again, there are some concerns with there being some toxic in that. I've never had a problem with it myself, so I don't worry about it too much, but you may want to be concerned about that and you may want to keep an eye on that. They do make alternatives that are guaranteed safe sand, but they are pretty expensive and I, I don't know. I've never had problems with play sand, so that's what I go with myself. All right, so let's show you what I've got set up for my sand boxes. Okay, what I'm using in my bigger hutch right here, uh, this is a dropping pan that was uh, under one of my uh, rabbit hutches when I had them inside in stacking cages. Um, it's just a 24 by 24 uh, dropping pan, and I just fill it up with sand, and I'm going to stick it right here in the uh, hutch right here. And we're going to see, hopefully, these guys have been without sand for, oh, I don't know, a couple of days because I kind of ran out. Hopefully, we'll see them get into it, and you'll get to see how... Uh, how they react to a fresh sandbox in here. All right, you can see, so once they calm down, uh, they just all go to the sandbox. They just love the sandboxes, have a great time with them. It gives them some place to get off the wire. You can see them kind of bathing themselves. It's kind of fun to watch, actually. 
Now they will kick all this sand out of here. It probably takes about a week and a half or two weeks for them to uh, get rid of all the sand. Um, not a big problem. It just falls to the ground. It goes in the compost pile with everything else. Not going to hurt the compost pile at all. Uh, some of these birds just hang out in the sandbox all the time. That's pretty much where they, they like to stay. They like to, I guess, get off the wire and get into the sand. Okay, so again, really the only problem with using, I mean, whatever you want to use for a sandbox works or a dust bath box, it works. You've got all kinds of alternatives you can use for the actual sand to dirt to, you know, uh, fine dust, uh, you know, at wood ash, all kinds of things that you can put in there. They're going to be fine and they're going to react the same way. They're going to have a good time playing in it. Um, they just seem to enjoy it. Again, they will kick all the sand out of that in a couple of weeks. I did have a viewer one time mention that he was using um, those big disposable aluminum turkey roasting pans you get from like big box stores or whatever. Um, and they've got real high sides on them. So that may be a really good solution. And I may switch over to that here in a little while and give them a try uh, because it's got such high sides it'll be harder for them to kick all the sand out and may make it last quite a bit longer. It's pretty easy cleanup when you get droppings in there. You can just take like a, a kitty litter you know, scooper that you would scoop kitty litter with and scoop the clumps out um, and, and slow those away and clean it out. So it's really pretty easy to clean. I've also kind of toyed around with the idea of adding like a removable uh, tray at the bottom of this and just filling this side of the hutch with sand all about an inch or two deep. And then whenever I need to clean it out, I can just pull that out and let all the sand drop through, sift it out, add it back too. But I haven't really got that all worked out yet. And right now, the trays are working just fine. Sand is cheap enough. It's not that big a deal to have to replace it every couple of weeks or so. All right, so this is my other hutch, and it's a much smaller area right here, so I don't have nearly as much room. You can see the birds are kind of hanging out in there. What I've got right here is just a regular 1020 nursery tray. Uh, that'd be like for like plants um, that you would see at any kind of nursery store. Um, this is what you would start plants in. Um, it's they're like a dollar. If you go to a nursery store, any kind of garden store, or anything like that, you usually pick them up for less than that. Um, they're just cheap and easy, and they work out pretty well. But it's worked pretty well in this one. Again, they'll empty this thing out here in about a week and a half or so, and I'll have to add more sand to it. Hopefully, I uh, cleared a few things up for you guys. Let me know your comments. Below. Below. What are you guys using for dust baths? What are you using for sandboxes for your quail? Have you found anything that works really, really well? Thank you guys so much for watching this video. Hit that subscribe button if you want to uh, stay connected with my content. And as always, God bless.